What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today, getting hot outside, so we can't do tea anymore. Got a good cold cup of water. I'm here with my reaction video to Stargate SG-1 Season 2, Episode 1. How's it going, everyone? So, to me at least, this feels like a proper start to Season 2. We sort of dealt with anything from the past, the film, Season 1 shenanigans, and now we're starting fresh. I'm really interested to see how things are going to progress, new people introduced, storylines, and just... Uh, what's the snarky comments from Jack? A ton of time Teal will say indeed and say something very dry. It's gonna be good. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I want to give a massive shout out to every single one of you for showing love and support. Like 20 likes on, on Patreon, which is insane. Dope to see you guys are just engaging and, and having a great time in terms of the likes and the comments and stuff and talking with each other. If you're interested in joining and getting the unedited raw reactions, also uh, the Discord, if any of the patrons or any people on YouTube want to have some conversations about SG-1 with uh, the rest of the homies. That being said, let's see what's popping with the gang. Chevron Man, Hammond of Texas, the whole lot. Free okay, we got a... Explosion? Ah, Guaul. Messing shit up. Power Rangers are so cheesy. Start it off. Hot. Quite literally. Fucking burnt, to be honest, actually. Wow. Let's get him out of here. What the fuck? We're, we're switching things up. Carter's compromised now. Carter, you okay? Yeah, fine. Thanks. There was no warning this attack was coming. We hadn't even spotted the mothership by the time the gliders assaulted the village. Ghouls to suddenly just show up and wipe out a peaceful people for no apparent reason is... Or more importantly, why did this particular ghoul care? They might have been a little concerned because we just kicked the crap out of Apophis. Well, the truth is we still understand very little about their society. With no reason. Simply because it gave them pleasure. So what, Nazi was just, just giggles. next on the... A part of me wishes it was that simple, but I don't want to underestimate them. Maybe the reasons just weren't made apparent to you, Teal'c. I mean, you are just a Jaffa. <laughs> She's on her shit oh, already. I, I agree with Sam. I, I think we have to assume the Gould are more complex as a society than we're giving them credit for. The better you understand the enemy, the better prepared you are in conflict. Exactly. What's the status of the Nashian survival? I'm assigning the three new SG teams, 10 through 12, to coordinate with you. This 10 through 12? How about right now? Wouldn't want to break post-mission protocol, right, Colonel? Let's pick up, pick it up on it. Cassandra's been asking about you. Cassandra. Yeah, I... Cassandra's gonna be at the hospital with me tomorrow, so why don't you stop by and spend a little time ah. with her first, you know, if you can. That's so dope. I will. Glad to see that they're actually bringing that whole Cassandra, you know, plotline back. I mean, she's connected to Fraser now, so uh, that makes sense. Hashtag swings for Toronto. It's a meme in the Discord. Patient has third degree burns to over 80% of his body. Cassandra is in my office. Now, we still have rounds to make, but you know where it is? Right? My teacher at school says I have talent. I love it. I missed you. I know, I'm sorry, I've been so busy. Very busy. You can tell? Cassandra, what is it? Whose man says this? What gave it away? What's going on with her? I'm not sure. She won't talk to me. She said she'd see you and only you. Just me, honey. I've got Colonel O'Neill with me. Hey. And it says you've been a little upset since Sam was here. What happened? She's 
said she'd kill me if I told. Well, you don't mean kill you, kill you. Dead oh, ass, Dad. She said she would. Why? She's a ghoul. We're due to get out of here in five minutes. Well, he left us a message that he'd meet us in the gate room. Well, step on it then. What was that? They're coming off really hot with this sanding the gold. Where's Colonel O'Neill? Stand down, campers. We're out of hold. Why? I don't know. Computer glitch. How was that? That was enough to take down an elephant. Open the stargate! Jack, what the hell is going on? Open the gate now! That's what I'm saying, brother. I have a shot, sir. And if she drops that grenade, what? What are we doing here, guys? Nobody's gonna open that Stargate. We're all gonna live, or we're all gonna die. Let me go. I must go. Not gonna happen. It's not even I like they pasted no. out. <clears throat> I know it was like a lot of reveals. I wasn't sure until I saw her lose it down I that really quick. I examined Captain Carter myself. There were no visible signs of entry. Are you saying it entered through her mouth? The parasite's goal is to attach itself to the brainstem. The soft tissue at the back of the throat is as good a place as any to start. There was blood, but she said the guy just bit his tongue before he died. Then we're going to have to start giving all personnel who go through the gate an ultrasound or an MRI. We're going to get that damn thing out of her is what we're going to do. Well, that, that didn't really work with Kowalski. Mm -hmm. And if any... I'm not giving up on Captain Carter either. Infiltration. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is, it is similar to the Kowalski episode. Okay, now get rid of some of those bandages. Oh. <laughs> the world is an amazing place. You're one of the men responsible for saving us. Yeah. We owe you great thanks. I thought you were helping with a sweep of the base. I am on my way. This is difficult. Yeah, it is. May then reveal the things you wish to learn simply to make himself appear more powerful. Ah, oh, come on, Teok. You're smarter than that. I have seen many Goa'uld strategies revealed. Certain victories lost because of Goa'uld arrogance. It is the Goa'uld's greatest weakness. When you speak to her, do not see your friend. You beats up security a bit. Not buying it, huh? You must let me go. Uh... No. You really have no idea why this is happening. Please feel free to elaborate. I mean, he wasn't acting strange. I mean, he we, we, wasn't acting violent. He, his eyes didn't glow. Or... I'm sorry. Why don't I let you rest? Oh, he's on the move. I think I'm supposed to know what that is. Yo, but the ghouls are on the offensive? Oh shit. Let me go through the Stargate. I will find another host and send your friend back to you. You can do that? Leave a host without killing them? Yes. It is possible, but not easy. I could die, but I promise I will try. The Nassian man died. How about that? Him. The Nassian man died first. You know I can't trust you. I could have killed you and many others when you stopped me from going through the Stargate. You didn't want to die yourself. They would not have killed me. I am too valuable. Which is exactly why we'll never let you go. I have done nothing to harm you. But you would not let me go even if you did believe me. Oh, God. He's telling you the truth. Please, Jack. No, Jack. Just snag it into uh, see how this plays out. You have requested my presence. I can help them defend against attack. They are more powerful than you know. 
then a more powerful assault is already being planned. They are not That's... fools. They believe you are here to plant the seed of that destruction. Not all Gwold are the same. There are a few that oppose the system lords and their ways. You must have heard of the Tok'ra. No, I actually haven't. Every Gwold seeks power. The Tok'ra are real, no matter what Apophis has told you. I have yet to meet one. You have now. I am Jolinar of Mogshur. No, you should. Jack, this one's got clout. Oh, uh, excuse me, sorry, I just wanted to check on Talia. Can you be sure he is who he says he is? I cannot. Let's try to build a little trust here, shall we? But somehow he just got up out of his hospital bed and... Must be the Ashra. It means Hunter. A Gould? Yes. An assassin of the highest rank who can... Jolnar once tried to overthrow one of the system lords, but was defeated when Apophis joined the battle, escaped during the slaughter of his armies. It seems this Jolinar is wanted in Ghoultown. Well, this ghoul inside Carter could be lying, spinning a tale yeah. to gain our trust. It's, it's quite a spin. True. Until he was hunted down by the Ashrak. When he realized we may have helped him escape through the Stargate. He improvised. So where are we? Bottom line, sir? We may have a ghoul out there who's on a mission to kill Carter. Oh. Take a crack at yes. it. Yes. You care about Samantha Carter as much as O'Neill and Teal'c? Well, there's no way he's getting in here. You are not stupid, Daniel, nor am I. He doesn't even know for sure you're, you're on this planet. Letting me go, trusting me, is the only chance of saving your friend Samantha. I'm sorry, Sam. Alive, I can be a powerful ally. Dead, I am useless to you. Uh, then you're gonna have to give us more than empty promises. I can give her back to you. We can't let you go. I'm not talking about Samantha Daniel. I'm talking Talk about Shari. I know where she is. Well, that's a good tease. Interesting. I, I found this episode he's playing Daniel a little bit more reserved and, and less jerky than season one. Or as, as someone's actually said. Less James Spadery. Oh, yeah, well, not Damn, he really just blocked it. Well, that may be so, but this may be the only chance we have to see Sam again. <laughs> he's, he's, he's sweet. He's, oh, I mean, now we can help Sam. I mean. he, he told me about this resistance. Now, they have a totally different way of life from the ghoul that we know. They don't believe in taking hosts against their will. If they don't believe in taking hosts, how do they survive? They take humans who are about to die. Now, according to Joel and I, this can be a rewarding relationship. Sorry, I know what this means to you, but I will never, never trust a ghoul. Alan, get down. Jeron Six is engaged. This is General Hammond, security to level 16, holding room Delta. Jeron Seven is locked. Where's my boy? Prescient to an arm. By decree of the gold system lords, you will die with dishonor by the power of the Harakash. Hear this. Days of the gold system lords are numbered. My death only feeds the fire that burns strong in the Tok'ra. She's dead. Let's go. The job's done, unless it was a pump. Pulse. 
You did it, Sam. You won. It wasn't me. Oh, yes, it was. You hung in there. You beat it. The cold gave its life for me. I guess you can trust some ghouls now, Jack. Hey, Sam, how's it going tonight? She's still the same. She's the old Samantha Carter. Cassie, she's just a little sad right now. Sam, it's me. You're going to be okay. Okay, that's kind of sweet considering she's the one who helped her. And that was my reaction video to Stargate SG-1. This one was season two, episode two, titled In the Line of Duty. I think after watching this episode, uh, I think, you know, maybe it might be due to just the, the, the past sprint of just really great episodes in the series. Now we're obviously having to restart and take things slow again. I thought this, this was just an okay episode for me personally. I thought the way they went about it. A few points I just sort of found it to be uh, ever so slightly dull and similar to things that we've done in the past. And I feel like there wasn't enough to reinvent. And they didn't do enough to, to I think, to change up the pace of this storyline that we've done in the past, like the Kowalski episode and, you know, there potentially being one, somebody in the base, whatever it is. I even though I speculated that there might be an invasion and that might've been cool to go with it, but that wasn't the point. That being said, while I think as a whole, I don't think I loved it. I didn't love this. I do think this is another case where there was a lot of interesting pieces of information. Once we got out of the whole phase of just being like, oh, is it real or is it not real? Those are the portions of the episode that I like the least. But in terms of just the information dump that we got here, there's quite a few things. I mean, with regards to the Gwauld, we got to hear that, you know, they can, uh, you know, the, the, the ghouls can actually not through the back of the neck. It's actually through means that they can't even trace if they're through the mouth later on and they have to increase their security measures now like they said we're going through the gate so that was pretty interesting it can leave the host without killing them but it puts their own life at risk so that's another bit of pretty interesting information too kowalski could have survived also you know teal gave some tidbits about like the med, like the psyche of, of the ghouls did a little bit just like what, what are some of their kinks in their armor so that was a pretty cool little bit of insight into them from that side but then we also got to learn about this whole other faction of, of, of ghouls and this idea of this the, the system lords and then the backstory of apophis so those elements I think were pretty cool bits of information that I, I, I feel like a lot of the middle portion of the episode I didn't love all too much. didn't find it nearly as engaging as things in the past. I mean, we got to learn about this other sort of faction of the gold who are actually good. And I thought they did a pretty interesting bit. I wanted them to go a little bit more with that with probably going to like go towards la later on in the series where Jack's going to open up to the idea of more good golds and, um, you know, as Sam said, by the end of it, when she survived, she's very distraught, obviously, about the whole ordeal, but that gold actually gave her life for her. So I think that's a slow start of something, of, of, a, of, a, of a journey for Jack to really come to terms with that. And yeah, the Tok'ra, I think that seems really interesting. I, like I said, I didn't love the idea of them going back and forth, whether or not, like, I almost would have rathered if just right off the jump, we just said, yeah, the Tok'ra, this is my mission, this is what we're doing. I feel like I would have been more invested in that and had they, they maybe, maybe have fleshed those portions out a little bit more than just going back and forth, like, can we trust you, can we not? So I think this is just an okay episode for me personally for SG-1, guys. What'd you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also cool that they brought Cassandra back in the mix a little bit here. Sucks that we didn't get to see Sam really appreciate and, and have a great bonding moment with each other because of the compromise here but yeah also we had uh some more sg teams being added so i guess after the whole ordeal of the last season finale the team's growing when they did the season two x1 it was with when they filmed season one so i feel like i they started season two fresh and there was a time jump obviously with the recording but anyway that's just me speculating most likely i don't know anyway i don't know i'm talking about that cool to see jenna have more screen time but the more interesting elements to me this episode with the characters were or Daniel, who's acting a little out of character, a little bit, not out of character, but uh, different than normal. That's something I noticed. Obviously, Jack and Sam have a closer connection, especially after the past recent episodes like 1X17. But they're putting a lot of emphasis on him, but I didn't feel connected to it for some reason this episode. I'm, I can't put my finger on why. There's a few bits this episode that just didn't click entirely for me. And not, not saying that this was a bad episode by any means. I think there was a lot of great information and, and bits of set up for the future solely this episode it didn't really land for me but guys that was sg1 what'd you think about this one i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed that bonus video for the week and with that being said as always if you like this video then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already of course as always links in the description down below for the discord and the patreon if you guys are interested and with that being said i'll see you in the next one guys peace